Do you hear noises at night? Well, we did. We're going to show you how to get rid of those noises without having to go see a therapist. Hi, my name's Dan. Dean is sitting this video out. She's still recovering from her knee surgery, but we're Rivers to Ridges RV. When we first started RVing, we honestly started hearing some popping noises probably within the very first week. And we really didn't know what this was. Now, some of these popping noises were pretty loud and they actually would wake us up at night sometimes. And sometimes with some of these louder popping noises, the RV would shake a little bit. So being new to RVing on the road for the first time, still learning all the systems, you know, this was kind of frightening to be honest with you, we really had no clue what it was. So we started doing some research. We started going to the RV forums, asking questions, and apparently this is a pretty common problem. Now we have the Lippert Level Up Systems, a hydraulic system to, to basically to level the RV. Going through these forums, a lot of other people had the same problem with the same um, Lippert Level Up System. And what's happening is the leveling jacks are basically making that popping noises. Now, I don't know, honestly, if it's weather related, maybe when the weather temperature changes is causing something with the, uh, the leveling system. It doesn't matter. We ended up, once we found out what it was, we called Lippert and they were kind enough to send us a link to their step-by-step -step instructions. And I have that right here. And don't worry, I'll, I'll put the, the link below in the description. So you don't have to worry about memorizing anything. They approved three different products. We're gonna use one of those three products today to fix, to fix our system. And they also gave us step-by-step -step instructions. So we're gonna go through the instructions that Lippert sent us. We're gonna do this the correct way. Now, a word of warning, when we were doing our research and trying to figure out what, this, what was causing this problem in these forums, there's a lot of opinions out there. And uh, you know, honestly, some of them weren't the best opinions. They would, you know, people would say things, oh, just put something like this in or just do this. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do this the right way that's approved by the manufacturer. So with that said, let's go outside and we're going to start fixing our hydraulic system. Before we get started in this process, I wanted to show you the tools we're going to be using. And I'll put a link below to where I got these tools from. The very first thing we're going to need is just a container. Now part of this process is we're going to be draining a quart of the hydraulic fluid out. So we need a container that holds at least a quart of, of fluid and that's what we have here. We also have, this is just a regular old siphon. You can use it for siphoning fuel or, or for any kind of fluid. We're gonna use this to drain a quart of our hydraulic fluid into the container we just showed you. And last but not least, we have a quart of anti-stick fluid. This is what we're gonna be putting into our, back into our hydraulic uh, system to replace the quart that we took out. So these are the only three tools we're gonna use. We'll go ahead and get started. The very first step in our process is to start removing one quart of hydraulic fluid. As you can see, I have the siphon hose into the container or the, the hydraulic fluid container and the other half, the other part of the hose is going into our bucket that's going to uh, hold the old fluid. As we're pumping, this black ball here does have an arrow on it if you never used one of these before. And the arrow just shows you the direction of the flow. So we're gonna keep on pumping and hopefully pump out roughly a quart of hydraulic fluid. And hopefully you can see that. I think we're pretty close. And about one more. I'm gonna call that a quart. Now what we wanna do is pull this out of here. keep this clean and we'll just keep pumping the rest of this out and I'm just trying to clean out the hose as best I can okay so we'll just leave this here for right now next step in our process is basically we need to put new fluid this new anti-stick fluid back into our back into our container. We're going to use this Torco. It's one of the three products that Lippert recommended. So we're going to put in a half a quart of this. Then basically what they want you to do is exercise the jacks. So we're going to take the jacks, uh, extend them and retract them. And it's basically just to get this fluid through the, through the system. And then we'll put in the second half of the fluid. So let's go ahead and put in the first half of the quart right now. Okay, that's roughly 
half of the court. Now what the instructions tell us to do is we're going to go ahead and close this up. We're going to retract and expand all of our jacks. That means our slides we're going to move in and out once and our jacks we're going to completely expand and completely retract one time. That's just going to get this fluid to start getting into the system and start uh, mixing us out with the original fluid. Once we do that we'll get everything set back up again and then we'll put the other half of the quart into our system. So right now we're going to go ahead and button this up and we're going to expand and contract all of our jacks. If you find videos like this helpful, please hit the like button. It helps our videos spread to other RVers. Thank you. So we just added a half a quarter of our anti-stick fluid. We retracted all of our jacks, including the slides. The slides all came in, all the jacks came all the way up. Now the instructions tell us to add the second half of that quart. Now I'll go ahead and close this up a bit. Just trying to keep any dirt out of there as much as possible. Clean this off, got a little bit of drip. So now that we have the rest of our quart in, the instructions tell us we're going to completely retract all of our gear again one more time. So all the slides will come in, all the landing gear will go up completely. And then all we have left to do is just hit the auto level button after that. So all the jacks will come back out to the auto level. So that's what we're going to do now. As you can see, this is a very simple process. Now we made it a little bit more difficult than it needed to be just because of the video. We had our slides in and out a few times and our landing gear up and down a few times, again, just for the video. Normally I would probably do something like this on a travel day, at least start the process. So when you bring all your slides in, you're retracting everything, I think that's when you can take out your first quart of trans or hydraulic fluid and put in your first half a quart of the anti-stick fluid. Then when you get to your destination, put the other half half in and finish up the process there so you're not having slides and you know landing gear in and out for for no reason at all so again we made it a little bit more difficult for the video but honestly this is one of those projects you don't mind doing and hopefully it helps with some of those noises in your head remember always live life to the fullest